Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. Today, we are going to learn how to use your NFTs to be a ticket for an online event, a concert, or any other NFT-gated platform you want. So in this case, we have this platform on which we need to connect our wallet. Then we can start buying tickets for this event. And once you have your ticket, you're going to have an information of your ticket over here. Of course, at this point, there is nothing new besides we already showed you in another tutorials of how to mint NFTs and get information out of the contract using Morales APIs. But here we have a button called Access. If we click here, we are going to instantly get redirected to a YouTube video for our latest Morales blueprint. And yes, this is an already public video, but you can use here any other video, content, or streaming you would like to add for your users. The important part here is if I return to the main page and reload here and try to access to the video tab, I'm going to get this access denied. You don't have access to this video. Please obtain the required NFT. The reason is because I haven't connected the wallet on the reload, and it means just the wallets who has the ownership of these NFT collections are going to be allowed to access of this part of the web page. So if you want to learn how to do this, keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. For today's tutorial, we are using a really simple NFT smart contract using Open Zeppelin standard with all the common things you should expect from an NFT, including the overrides solidity requires. The important part here is the mint ticket, which is going to be a payable function, which requires this amount of Ether in order to buy a new entrance for the exclusive event. I deployed this using Brownie for the Sepolia network. Remember all the code for this is going to be on the bit description. The important part here, the, the important part here is once we deploy the contract, we are going to have the things we need to interact with it on the front end, which is the contract addresses. I made a lot of deployments, but we are going to use only the latest one and also the contract ABI, which is inside here. We are not going to go deeply on how the deployment works as we already have a specific tutorials for that. This is just a recap for you to understand the project architecture. So on the front end, we have these buttons you already see. And for now, the only button which works is the connect wallet, which is going to trigger your MetaMask and connect your wallet. In order to accomplish that, on the front end, we can add a function called handle connect, which is going to use Ether.js to get the Web3 provider and set up some variables. Now we need this function called handle mint, on which we have to add the functionalities to execute the mint ticket functionality of our smart contract. For that, let's use this handle mint function I have over here. For that, we need to use the contract address and the contract ABI, the ones I already showed you we get from the build folder once we deploy, and the signer which comes from MetaMask. For that, we create a new transaction calling that contract using the function mint ticket on which we are going to set up a gas limit and of course the value we need to pay in order to be able to buy one of those tickets. And as usually on blockchain transactions, we are going to just wait one in order for us to wait some blockchain confirmations. So once the function is ready, we can return to the page and click on buy tickets. This is going to trigger a new transaction. And if we confirm this, now we are going to be able to have access to that NFT, as easy as that. Now, regarding to the my tickets function, we need to get that information out of the blockchain. And for that, we are going to, of course, use one of Morales endpoints. In this case, we are going to use the endpoint get NFT owners by contract on which we are going to just have to enter the NFT contract address and this is going to gather all the information we need for that specific smart contract in this case or NFT code. So to make this work we can just copy this code. On my code I already have a Django project set it up and I have a file called services.py on which I'm just getting the Morales API key. And by the way, if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the time of the video for you to hit pause, go to Morales.io and create your free account. Here in your panel, you're going to get access to your API key. In my case, I stored that on a .m file. So let's paste the code provided by Morales. We can delete the things we already have and we need to just pass these parameters. But of course, we need this 
to be dynamic. So let me change this and transform it into an actual function we can use. Now we have a function called gen of the owners, which is going to take the address of the contract as parameter. We are using the Cephalia network for this project. You can use any other chain you want. And we are going to have the normalized metadata, which is going to return the token you write and its metadata as a JSON format. So with this function get NFT owners ready, we can go to the project views and use that specific function. We are going to get the address from the request. It means this comes from the front end. We are going to trigger that function get NFT owners and we are going to return it into a JSON format because JavaScript does not understand Python dictionary. Of course, we need to remember that we must add that path into the project URL. So on the front end side here on package.json, I have a proxy here, which is pointing to my local host on the port 8000, which is the default for Django running locally. And using Axios, we are going to be able to connect to this endpoint. So returning to my main component, here I have another function called refresh NFTs, and let's connect to that endpoint. Get owners, and we are going to send the address. The address again is going to come from the contract addresses we are going to get from the deployment. If everything goes well for now, let's just console log the response. If I go back to the page and click on my tickets, I'm going to get the response with all the tickets I have. The one I just showed you at the beginning of the video and the new one I just minted. So instead of just consoling.log this, let's update a state variable called NFTs and show this on a card below using this rendered NFTs variable. So let's delete the console.log and use that set NFTs functionality. Let's save this, go back to the page, close the console, click again on my tickets and now we have the information I showed you before with the information of this ticket. So okay to this point we are just minting the tickets and using Morales endpoints to get information out of that contract. So now let's go to the most important part which is adding that button and make the access to that video slash concert slash exclusive content available just for those which has the ownership of any of the NFTs of this collection. For that purpose, let's create a new hook called use video access. First, we need to import the user state from React and Ethers from Ethers.js. And now we need the contract ABI, which we are going to get as ticket NFT JSON from chain info contracts ticket .chain. By the way, if you don't know how I took the information from the build folder and send it over to the front end file, here we are going to have a script called update frontend, which is going to send that information to the frontend folder into src chain info. So once we have this information, we can create our hook. Let's say sport const use video access going to be equal a function. And here we are going to have some logic. As this is going to be a hook. Let's send here the signer, the account, the contract address, and the navigate functionality. This navigate functionality comes from React DOM because on our app.js, we are using routers to navigate between pages. In this case, we want to be able to navigate to this video path. Let's declare a new variable called as access, and let's get the actual ABI from the contract, so const ERC721 ABI to be the ticket we just imported. Now we can declare a new function called const check access. Again, it's going to be an asynchronous functionality. Let's grab this into a try catch statement, just a good practice, and make a console.log of the error. And of course, set up this set has access to false if anything goes wrong. So inside the try catch statement, we are going to first declare the contract. Contract equals new eaters contract, or we are going to to send out the contract address, the ERC721 ABI, and the signer. Now we are going to need the token count. So const user token count is going to be equal to await contract.balance of and send over the account. Now we are going to have a new variable called has NFT to check if the user has an NFT of this collection. It's going to default to false. And now we are going to iterate on the user's own tokens to check if that token belongs to the desired contract. So let's create a new for loop. And inside of the for loop, we are going to say const token ID going to be equal to await contract dot token of owner by index and in the account and the index. And if we found that token ID, let's then set up the has NFT to true and break the because we don't want to finish the loop if we already found that NFT. This break is just to be efficient. After this for loop, 
we can use this set has access and set the has access variable. If the NFT is found, it's going to be true. So we are going to set up that as true. Now, as we want to use this to navigate to another page, we can use if we have the navigate. Well, we are going to use navigate to the video and we are going to send that state variable. So state has access and we are going to send this has access variable over here. And of course, we need to return the has access NFT. Again, if everything goes wrong, we are going to return false. Finally, we just need to return this from our hook. So return, let's return that has access variable and the check access function. Let's save this. And as easy as that, we have our hook ready. With this hook, we are going to get the information of the smart contract looped through the tokens the user has. And if we found a match, it means the user already has an NFT of that collection and is going to be able to navigate to that exclusive content. Now we need to add two more functionalities. First, we need to create the video component. Now it's empty. So let's add all the information we need here. First, we need some standard imports, so just use location from React DOM, the styles we are using to have this project styled, and let's create a new component, cons video component, going to be equal to a function. As usually on React, we are going to export that component, and here we have to send some logic. So let's first say const location is going to be equal to use location, const has access is going to be equal to location.state.hats access const video ref going to be equal to use ref remember this is because we want to render a video on the entire screen once we have access to this page now let's set up the video source you can use any source you would like to in this case i'm using this youtube moralis blueprint i just show you and we are going to set up the auto play to one we are going to disable the control and set up more parameters. Now we need to create a use effect. This use effect is going to check if the has access variable is true. And if it's true, it's going to use that video ref and start playing the video right away. So video ref current dot play. And this of course is going to depend if the user has or not access. Now we just need to return the video itself. So I'm going to put this really quick over here. We are going to have an iframe, which is going to depend on this has access. And if has access is false, well, we are going to set up this access denied I showed you at the beginning of the video. And as you see that, we have our video component ready. As you can see, highly depends on this has access variable. Finally, we need to create a access video button on which we are going to use that hook we created to check if the user has access and to navigate directly to this video component. So again, we need to add some default import we need. Let's say export con access video button on which we are going to send the signer, the account and the contract address, including also the provider. Let's close this function over here. And inside this, we are going to have again the navigate const navigate equals to use navigate const check access going to use that use video access hook and we are going to send the provider the signer and the account to this component now we need a function to handle the click so we are going to just say const handle click and execute this check access. Remember inside the use video access hook, we already are going to automatically navigate to the video component if we have access. So we just need to execute this check actionality over here. And finally, let's just return the button. So we are going to return the button with these styles and on click, we are going to use this handle click functionality. And that's it. This is all we need to use on our button. The only thing left for us is to add this button inside of each card and get access to that specific exclusive content. So let's go back to the main component. Let's first import that components, the access video button and use video access from the hooks. Let's import first that access video button over here. And here on the rendered NFT, this, we could just add that component so access video button and we need to send some parameters such as the provider the account the senior and the contract address now we return to the web page and click to the access button we are going to get instant access to that video i showed you at the beginning and again thanks to our new created hook 
if someone which is not connected to the web page try to access to that location the slash video they are going to have this access denied message because first we need to verify through the connection to metamask if the user has or not the required nft to access to this part so again if we click on access we get direct access so as easy as that you already know how to use your nfts to create a nft gated platform on which you are going to be able to set exclusive content for the owners of your nft collections and we just needed to create a really simple hook to verify that ownership and well of course the component we want to show and that was it for today's tutorial don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the github repo so check out the link on the description and as you are already here click over here to subscribe to morales channel turn on the notifications and also check out more videos thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion